Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Here we are with the Zolo Showdown Guide Advanced. The last video, the beginner's guide, was a huge success. You guys loved it. The support on the video was insane. So now we step a bit further. The last time we talked about reaching rank 25, basic game sense, the first choice of gadgets and star power and so on. So if you didn't watch that yet and you're new to the game or whatever, make sure you first watch that beginner's video. So have much fun with the video. Get your pencil ready. You will learn a lot in this video. So let's get started. All right, I will teach you different brawlers, choice of gadgets and how to play on a higher elo, for example, rank 30. I mean, my search is almost rank 30, so this is fine. And let's keep practicing your game sense now. So for search, for example, as I said in the last video, we want as much mobility as possible in Zulu Showdown to get away, to engage. Like it's just what you want to have in Zulu Showdown. So on search, this gadget would make more sense. And I recommend if you're not a search pro or whatever to use this on search. But since since I'm a search professional and if you think yo search is one of my best brawlers I got this and you can also play the second one this is what I will do since I don't need the first one since the chance that I struggle getting from stage one to stage two is quite low I would say since search is one of my best brawlers so I take this one for the star power yeah that's a no-brainer obviously there's no use for the second one just use this one this one is easy and yes so you can consider playing like plus one gadget instead of shield but I I recommend if you have a squishy brawler with not that much HP to take shield and damage. You never do anything wrong with shield and damage. For tanks, I mostly recommend heal or speed. For assassins, it's mostly, for example, on Edgar or Mortis, you want to play the plus one gadget and damage. And then you have some rare situations, like for example, Jean on a map with bushes, or if you want a Rosa count or whatever. Send duels quite good, for example. And then you can also play vision, but usually in solo showdown, you never play vision maybe in cavern churn where you have a lot of bushes where you can do some plays with vision but yeah this is actually like the most useless one so the gears you need the most are field and damage after that it's plus one gadget and after that it's like speed and after that it's heal and followed by vision Okay, so this is our first build. Now we will start with the first game and I will explain to you what to do against teamers. Like I hear people saying a lot they can't compete against like five teamers or they can't do anything. They are only dropping. But guys, trust me, I play no teaming every day and I can tell you it is possible. No one, like no one needs to team. It's a lot more fun to play without teaming. Look at this. I pushed power one Miko without teaming. To be fair, I also played him 3v3 or 5v5. But yeah, I also played without teaming quite a lot on high trophy range even on 1000 trophies and we have like lee and piper like all these brawlers are made in solo showdown without teaming we also did rank 35s already on the main account for example search trust me guys it is possible yes it can be frustrating when you get like team out by 10 people but trust me it's worth it it's a much better feeling if you reach a rank 30 without teaming and if you guys upload clips tiktoks or whatever where you show me that you compete without teaming that you reach a certain rank or rank 30 hey snake look at this i did no teaming i love this i watch all your videos i comment under your videos so keep grinding i'm proud of you no teaming legends you make the mode a little bit better and playable so thank you everyone for joining the no teaming army but enough talking we will get into a round and i will start with the first explanations here we are and we have a lot of tanks and no larry and rory this is a perfect round actually on like 1k trophies and before some hater kick commenting under my video snake you're using vpn no i'm not i'm not having any delay as you can see so please stop saying that all right we have a maisy um, attacking us so we really need our level two right now so we don't care about cubes we really want that level two level two is like the most important step this is what we look for that's all we want right now Okay, now we have stage two. This is what we wanted. This is very important. All right, and now we just farm this BB. The BB can't do anything with a very good matchup, so we just uh, go on her. Just keep her low. No, keep attacking her. We take a hit, it's fine. The gadget, just to save it a bit more. Be careful, there always could be a Cordelius spawning in your face. Always pay some attention. Alright. That looks good so far. We can 
make a pick here, I think. Yeah, we can get the Fang for sure. Okay, no, we can't because I failed it. To be honest. It was possible, but I failed it. Alright, so we saw that the Cordelius is supering the Fang. So we just sit here for the moment. Alright, so now we can get back to the middle. I think the Fang will probably be down here. That's what I think. Alright, we have level 4 now. That's great. Okay, so we make a play. So now we are safe here. That's great. Okay, I apologize when I'm not speaking when I'm playing. So I have a bit struggled to, to talk when situation is getting hot. But yeah, as you could see, the main priority was to get our stage first, you know? farming on the BB a bit. We also were a bit lucky that we had no uh, new brawler in the game. I also paid attention to the game, so we have to know the brawler. For example, when Cordelius is supering the Fang, we just back up because we know probably Fang is going to push us or even if it's the Cordelius, if you have no super, it's quite dangerous, so we just backed up. But it's with Cordelius, it's sometimes it's a gamble. But yeah, we played that well so far. And in the end game, I played a bit more aggressive to rotate to the top and to make the Cordelius rotate. So someone else is going to kill him or is distracted so that was a good play and in the end good jump on the fang end game was quite easy then we still had a gadget left with our super good rotation so search is one of the best brawlers in the end game so that was easy then let's see what we have oh yeah we have the new brawler so this is going to be hard we need our levels so level is more important than cubes i mean if you have a cube right in front of your head i mean you just take it you know Okay, I, get, I need to get out of here because I can't do anything against the throwers. I need like a Shelly. Maybe she's hiding here. Maybe we can get some level here. Alright, we got two hits. That's good. Another hit. So now we already have stage two. Okay, we just waste two gadgets. It's fine because we just want to get some levels and we can farm Maisie here. That's our first opponent. As I said, stages are the most important thing. Okay, that's the first kill and we already level 3. I backed up from the frost because we can't do anything where we would just die, you know. So I back up and try to get my stages, which worked. So now I'm camping here and analyzing the game. So what is happening? What do we have in the game? We have the, the new brawler that is quite toxic. Alright. Gotta be careful now. Bit focusing right now. And as you can see, we have a terrible meter right now. So if we just imagine a meter without Larry and Rory right now, this would have worked much better because this bro is just so P combined with some teaming. You know, I can't do anything, but that won't stop us. We will just continue. It's a bit harder to push right now. So yeah, let's see what we can face uh, the next games. You won't face like Larry and Rory all the time. All right, and that's it with the first brawler. Now we go for the probably best shout on character at the moment in my previous ranking i said that search is the number one but to be honest it's it's a bit biased because i'm just a search man and i love search and i think search has the most shout on potential but to be honest Maisie is like one of the best brawlers for sure we don't have hypercharge so we will just play without it's too expensive like it's 5k gold i don't want to waste my gold just for this one game right now but yeah we want the mobility so this gadget is great on Maisie. we have a little dash we can stun people with it we we can do nice plays with the super so what we want is the plus one gadget because this gadget has high value you know and we just take the plus one and here you can take damage but i'm a big fan of shield and showdown especially if you're a teamer if then you probably always want to play shield for some extra hp because people are not attacking you anyway and you just sit there you know and uh, do some coin flip in the end and you even could play vision here so if we hit someone in the middle in the bush you can exactly see where he's going the another shot that's quite risky so I 
I would prefer to go with the shield or damage. It's just safer. It's the more common thing. But you can also make some play with like vision. You could even play heal. But as I said, recommended is shield or damage. And we take the slow for some safe hits and kills. This one is, it gives us more damage. But this one is just better for the mobility. We can get better kills like this. We do have more damage here. But also only at max distance. So I would always take this for a safe kill. It's great for Shaolin. All right. So let's get into the next round. Oh, a game with our Larry. Great. I love it. That's rare, but I love it. Bro, what is he doing? Like, why do you give me a free win, bro? Don't do it, guy. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't like doing this, you know? So this was not fun for me at all. But, you know, I had to. Like, I'm, I'm not thinking what, what am I supposed to do, bro? Like, he's just giving me a free win, bro. Like, why? Okay, so we chill right here. Leon is quite dangerous. Especially with super. We're top six. We chill. If you can chill, chill, you know? If it's clever to camp, camp. Oh, we need our super, for sure. I don't know what's going on on top here. There's a Leon, Lou, Bibi. Oh, Shelly's engaging. Okay, so we have the whole spot for us right now. That's great. So, Shelly can't hide here. And the lose is an easy kill. He won't be a problem. He'll rotate now. We predict that. Oh, I gotta be so careful right now. Am I teaming, bro? Oh, God damn it! The gadget didn't work quite well. Blue slow here. Great kill. Tell you on hyper charge. Use the gadget. Oh, no. That didn't work. Okay, so this is going to be hard. I mean, she has hypercharge. Oh my god. And the gadget in combination with the super. I think we could have played better here. I mean, we could have done double kill on the Lu and the Liam probably. Like, we could have hit more here if we used our gadget better. But that's okay. Here we have the first place. You can see it. If you have no Larry in the game, it's an easy win for me. And it's no teaming. You know what I mean? To win streak, good way to rank 30, so it is possible. You don't have to team, guys. You really don't. Right now, it's just Larry that destroys the game a little bit. But as you can see, stuff is working and we get to the next brawler. So we have a lot of assassins in this guide. That's probably because of the map. Like this map is the Shelly map or like Maisie or Edgar. Assassins are quite good on this map. I wonder what should be the next one. Like maybe Shelly. But Shelly is not very good against the new brawler. So I'm not sure if I would play Shelly. Alright, so the last brawler will be be Dynamic. I mean, Dynamic is a bit random probably, but I think Dynamic is a good replacement for uh, Larry and Lori. Wait, wait, what? Arriving in one hour? Oh my god, guys. Save your children. Save your family. In one hour it's happening. Everyone is going to get destroyed. All lobbies will be filled up with this brawler. Save yourself. Oh my god, it's the Larry and Lori army is coming, man. Alright, so on Dynamic. Here, it is a bit different. So this gadget is actually some movement, you know, if you play this, you have movement, you're faster and you can get away from certain situations. But the problem here is that the second gadget is just way too strong to not use it. The stun can be a free kill, super farm, getting more cubes, you know, making huge plays can also be a great opportunity to save yourself if you just stun the enemy. So this one is just the way better gadget. You want to play stun here, even if this gadget is actually mobility. Since this gadget is like one of the best gadgets in the game, we also want to have one more on dynamite that's a must and here i wouldn't play damage to be honest like you don't need damage i mean if you if damage gear activates and you have your super you know then it's great you won't hit so many people but it's rare to pull off a play with damage gear here so i would recommend using shield so you have a bit more sustain and all the other gadgets are users on dynamite so plus one is a must and then i would recommend using shield but you can also use damage damage is much better in 3v3 but in shadow 
on since you want a bit more HP since you don't want to die too fast you usually take shield all right so dynamite will be our Larry and Laurie replacement dynamite can be very OP we don't even have him level 11 but that's okay because my skill is compensating that let's get into the round okay here we are having some Larry's and Laurie's but that's okay because we played dynamite it's okay maybe we can get a kill on the Daryl we can't so we rotate to the other chest great Okay, so he will have super soon, so don't play too risky anymore. Yeah, don't get too close. He's just baiting. Don't get baited. Just like this. Okay, this guy is dead. Yeah, so as I said, don't get baited. Always check bushes. Very important. Okay, that was probably a bit too greedy. We tanked so much damage here. Okay, so this was dangerous because they are playing Fang. Be careful here. I don't have any vision on the bottom. Okay, but he killed Fang. It's great. And now he's going for the Shelly. So this is a lucky round. I mean, you also have that. Okay, so we killed the Larry because he's obviously the strongest brawler, so always focus Larry. We didn't care about the Shelly. Yeah, that was lucky round. Played itself. We will do another Dynamite win. Alright, so we have two Edgars and a Larry. So when Larry and Laurie are released one hour later, you want to have probably on some maps Dynamite. He will be a good answer to the new brawler. But you know, you don't want to have like the Edgars in the games. You see, this was a great kill on the new brawler. He's, he's a very good answer. We open this. Okay, now we just chill. People are teaming. I should hit the stun here. Okay, kill the pearl. It's a good kill. Alright, let's see if we can do something here. Get the BB out if possible. Very nice. Okay, that's another great kill here. And now we should we should be careful. I mean we can still die easily, you know. One Edgar and we are dead. Okay, that's a that's an Edgar. We need to kill this guy. For sure. Yeah, that's great. Colette is helping us. Please don't uh, say this is teaming because it's not. Okay, great kill on the Edgar. We don't kill the Colette yet because she might be useful for the other Edgars. Alright, I wonder where the fourth brawler is. There's the Edgar. Good to know. There's the Shelly. Okay, Edgar's down. It's great. We use the gadget for this Shelly. Alright, great game. So yeah, that's the second Dynamite win. I think that Dynamite is a great choice. He's very good, as I said, against a new brawler. You know, sit in a bush, stun the new brawler, instant kill, so you don't have to worry about this one. And yeah, for this map, there are better picks than Dynamite. Let's check the brawlers real quick. So I think you have a lot better brawlers here. As I showed already, like, Surge is quite playable here, I think. Probably not anymore when the brawler is releasing in one hour. You can play Maisie here. Maisie will be very good on this map. Leon should also work, to be honest. Obviously, the new brawler is perfect here. Fang should work. Edgar should work. A Shelly, obviously. Shelly should work here. Pearl. Pearl has better map, but Pearl should be fine here. So, I do think you can play Pearl here. Should be fine. And, yeah, I think these are, like, the best brawlers for this map. And that's it for the guides. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We talked a bit about decision making on gadget star powers and gears. Practiced that a bit. Stepped a bit further with the gameplay. Like, just didn't focus on when to play 
passive, when to play aggressive. That's what you want to learn in a beginner's guide. Start playing some round on lower elo to practice that. On higher elo, you should know already when to play passive, when to play aggressive. So I talked more about the details. When can we go in with search? What is important when playing search? What is important when playing Maisy or Thrower? like dynamite how to counter the new brawler which will be a very big topic in the, in the next days depending on when he's getting nerfed what brawlers you can play on this map for example and if you want more videos like what brawlers to play on what map like a full list or like a brawler specific guide like only search or whatever if you have any wishes write it in the comments leave a like if we hit 10,000 likes i will do another guide the expert guide so if you want to see that make sure to leave a like and yeah i would say that that's it. Have a nice day, guys. Your Snakefuck. Peace.